Together, Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands have over 800,000 kilometers of road that could be used for some of our energetic needs. On this stretch of motorway in the Netherlands, sound barriers not only reduce noise, they create green energy for 60 local households as they are equipped with solar panels. This renewable energy pilot scheme has inspired Rolling Solar, a European project that aims to create more energy from roads in a cost-effective and efficient way using photovoltaics. In this sound wall in Rosmalen, they are experimenting with three types of solar cells. We test new panels and the, our main goal is to reduce costs. We think this is a very useful solution uh, for the energy transition because uh, you, you make double use of land, of space. Those are existing structures that we now give a secondary function. The total cost of this project is 5.7 million euros, and over 2.8 million of this is financed by the European Cohesion Policy. Around 20 industrial partners and laboratories from three countries are part of the project. Another of the project's goals is to develop sustainable cross-border collaboration and share skills across research and industry sectors. In this Eindhoven laboratory, thin and flexible photovoltaic cells made from silicon cadmium are being developed in various forms. They want to move from custom-made to mass production. This is what we call the integration lab. So here we pre-develop at a small size with smaller equipment the end product. And then we test uh, if it uh, is resistant uh, to all kind of environmental uh, influences like uh, uh, moisture, like all kind of other gases in, that you normally have in the atmosphere, so if it has the right lifetime. And if we all tested that, we are going to do it on a larger scale. In Genk in Belgium, there's another photovoltaic sound barrier on this campus. Here, three different types of solar cell units are connected to the grid. Temperature and mechanical deformations are closely measured, and the next stage is already being considered. There were still some hurdles. Who is the owner of the energy that we produce if you put PV near a roadside? Uh, who is going to do the maintenance if there is a car crash, for example? So those aspects will also be tackled in the follow-up projects. We'll look more into making it cheaper, making the legal aspects uh, go away, and focusing on business economical models. 